Hey guys, back at it once again. Today, I'm going to be going over a very common problem in an FS111 weed eater. Let's go ahead and get into this. So there is that beast once again. So, a lot of times what will happen is when you try to start these things, they just won't start. Nine times out of ten, when you're having a really hard time starting it, it's because the weed eater has leaked gas down into the air filter. It's a very simple fix. A lot of times, if you want to just gut it out, if you press the living daylights out of the primer and pull enough times, like maybe 100 times, 50 times, whatever, a lot of times you can get lucky. And then once the weed eater is on, the heat of it, uh, it either does dry out the air filter by itself or it doesn't. But I have found that when I've done that, uh, a lot of times I can start it really easily. But honestly, when you come into this problem, like I just have, the best thing to do is just take the air filter out. Using this tool. Here's your air filter right there. Now, what you're gonna do is just go inside the cab of your vehicle that you're operating and turn on the fan, the heat. Simply just hold the air filter kind of just swaying it back and forth like this in front of the fan for a couple minutes until it gets dry. Okay, this is dry now. That probably took me about five minutes of just swaying it back and forth like this. Let's go ahead and put this thing back in. Okay, so before I put this back in, this is another huge downside to these new FS111 models, weed eaters, is that gas tends to leak down into the air filter system. So what you can do is you can wipe off the excess gas, just like I'm doing right now. Or you can even turn it upside down and try to shake as much out as possible. And yeah, it's these air filters are kind of complicated. It, it's a huge downfall. The old FS110s uh, had much better air filter system. A lot of times you could... Um, just pull them out and kind of blow them off. They didn't get wet at all, as I recall. So we're not done yet. There's another downfall. These air filters, unfortunately, will expand when they get wet with the gas. And as you can see, that thing does clearly not fit anymore like it should. So what you have to do is a lot of times just kind of press the corners in and kind of force it in. And it's just an all around huge pain in the rear to deal with. And all four corners are in, but you can see that it's arching. So, honestly, the best thing to do to avoid the hassle is to trim it. So you can see these two corners, or maybe not. We're just going to use this corner as a guide. So that corner's in, that corner's hanging around. So we'll go ahead and just cut a little bit. Boom, made that cut. And there's a lot hanging over on that end, so we'll go ahead and cut that too. And Jiminy Christmas, there is a ton hanging over on this side. So it's looking like we're going to have to cut like all that to get it to reshape. Okay. And if you really want, you can wrestle around with it, but I've done this enough times to know better that you're just better off just reshaping it with your little cutters. So we're going to put this thing back on now. Okay. 
So there you have it. It's put back on and that should start pretty easily. So just know that that is definitely a con in these FS-111s. They have, they're very good running machines, way better than the FS-110s. The gas mileage is better, but unfortunately fuel does tend to leak in here. And those old FS-110s did not do that. And the air filters also did not expand. They were more of a, of a sponge type of a material instead of like this fanny, uh, like st half styrofoam, half rubber is the best way I can describe what that is. But let's try to start this thing up now. Quite a huge pain. As you can see, <coughs> because of the gas that leaks in here, it, it causes for the air filter system to kind of choke up. And it takes a lot of work to get these things to dry out completely. So a lot of times when you're, when it start like this. Yeah, you can't let go of the gas because it's just going to keep dying on, dying on you as you're holding the gas. You also want to press the primer, and it should give the weed eater more power. I'm going to do it with one hand. You guys won't see me pressing the primer, but if you hear the power go up, it's because I pressed the primer. Take a listen. Sounds like it's finally starting to get the airflow that it needs. But yeah, unless you have a lot of experiment experience running these FS-111s like I do, you might get choked up and stumped. Luckily, I have nearly 10 years of experience with the steel equipment. So, and if you're having a hard time with getting the weed eater to run smooth after you've already cleaned out the air filter, you just got to use it. You just got to use it like you normally would, and eventually it's going to generate enough heat to where it's going to dry itself out up completely. So that's the only other real huge downfall of these FS-111s, but other than that, they are fantastic machines.